Hi everyone, my name is Omar and in this video I will show you how to create a Django application and how to containerize it in a Docker file. We will push that image into an Azure container registry and at the end we will create a CI CD pipeline using GitHub Actions to fully automate the process. Now if you're not familiar with Python programming language, don't worry because I will guide you through the entire process with an easy to follow step by step. And with that said, let's get started. Now before we start programming, I want to grab your attention for the requirements that you will need to have installed locally in your computer in order to follow along with this tutorial. These are all the requirements that you will need to install locally, which all of them are for free, and I will leave a comment with the links where you can get more information on how to install each one of them. Since we will be working with Visual Studio Code, you will also need to install some extensions from the marketplace. I will show you how you can install them right directly from Visual Studio Code. I should also mention that Django has a website called DjangoCentral.com and this is the blog that we will be creating and how it will look like at the end of the tutorial. But like I said, we will also be working with containers and creating a CI CD pipeline with GitHub Actions. Also on the requirements, when I mentioned that you need to install Python, I am referring to Python version 3 or older. And Notice that this is also mentioned on the Django documentation on this section. But if you want to read more about Django, please refer to the documentation of this website. Now, once you have your Visual Studio Code and um, you create an empty directory, in this case, I call it projects. Now we need to validate if we have all the uh, prerequisites that I mentioned earlier. Uh, the way you do it is uh, you can go here on the terminal, click on new terminal. Once you open it, just uh, run uh, Python. Let's let's validate if we have Python installed, like this. And if you receive an, an output like this, it says a Python 3.7.3, .3, you have Python installed. So let's click on exit. And let's also validate if we have pip installed. So the way we validate is by uh, pip help. Then if you receive an, an output like this, it obviously recognizes the command, so you have pip installed. All right, so we're good to go. And the other thing that I was going to show you is how to install the extensions in Visual Studio Code. It's really easy to do. So if you go here under extensions, what gotta do is just uh, write, uh, start searching here in the marketplace. For example, you can do arm, uh, let's do, Azure resource manager and then type arm and there you go you have one make sure that you have the Microsoft version and just click install and that's what you need to do all right so this is just an example just do the rest with the with the other ones that I mentioned now since we will be working with repos the first thing I like to do is to define where my repo is going to live so after you log in with your github account in github.com create a repository right here and for this example I will call this repo as Django test I will leave it as public and I will select to add a readme file and a git ignore file for visual studio once that is ready just scroll down and click on create a repository. Once you get your repo created, all you gotta do is just uh, click on the code and uh, copy the link right here. And you're gonna go to Visual Studio Code. Make sure that you are in an empty folder and you're gonna type git clone and paste the link that you just copied. Once you clone your repo locally into your machine, we're going to CD into that folder. Now, while building Python projects, it's a good practice to work in virtual environments to keep your project and its dependency isolated in your machine. So the first thing is that we need to install the virtual environment. So in order to do that, we're gonna run pip install virtual env once you install it, you are going to create it and give it a name. You're going to run Python minus M V E N V, and then you give it a name. 
Now we are going to install Django inside the virtual environment directory by running python minus m pip install Django. Once you install Django, we're going to select an interpreter by going to into Visual Studio, View, co Open Command Palette, and select the environment that uh, we just created. Now let's go ahead and kill our terminal by clicking here in this corner. Um, and then whenever we reopen the terminal again, in the terminal, new terminal, you will be able to see that it automatically detects your virtual environment. Now let's step back one folder up from the virtual environment folder, because now we will create our first project by running the command Django dash admin start project and give it a name. In my case, I'm going to name my project as Django test PRJT for project. The reason I do it this way is because when we commit to the repo, you don't want to include the virtual environment folder. And I will show you how to exclude this folder using the git ignore file. Now you can see the project structure that was generated with several directories and Python scripts. Now it's time to create our first app inside the project folder. So we are going to CD into our PRJT folder where the manage.py file is located and run the command Python manage.py start app and give it a name. In my case, I'm going to name this app as Django test app. Now that we created our first app, we need to inform Django that a new application has been created. So inside your project folder, open your settings.py file and scroll to the install app section. And you will add your newly created app block at the bottom and save it. In this case, we're going to add the Django test app at the bottom and you'll save it just like this. Next, you will make migrations. For this, you will run the Python manage.py migrate. This will apply all the unapplied migrations on the SQL Lite database, which comes along with the Django installation. So let's test our configurations by running the Django built-in development server. You will need to run Python manage.py run server. Once the commands runs, just open your browser and go to the address 127.0.0.1 um, port 8000, or just click on follow the link. And if everything went well, you should be able to see this page. I hope you enjoyed video one of this tutorial series. We went over the prerequisites and requirements in order to install Django locally on your computer. And we created our first application. On video number two, I will show you how to create your admin site and how to build your views to create your blog. If you like the content of this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notified as soon as I add more content to it. Keep yourself motivated, keep learning, and see you in video number two.